Plenty of questions about a Northeast Ohio school district tonight as a series of sudden staff departures creates confusion. And now the abrupt changes are reaching the high school's administration. News 5's Mike Brookbank spoke with some students who say the chaos is distracting them from classwork. It's a shakeup in Shaker Heights. Within just the last couple of weeks, a handful of staff members have found themselves placed on administrative leave, fired, or they've suddenly resigned. The latest change coming this week with the principal finding himself in the hot seat. We're all trying to figure it out, and I don't think the teachers know exactly what to tell us, so they can't really talk a lot about it. Within just the last few weeks, two cheerleading coaches resigned amid accusations of fat shaming a student. An English teacher was placed on administrative leave, and the head football coach resigned, his special teams coach fired. No one's really sure on what's happening, so I think a lot of the students are confused. Now, Jonathan Coonley, who holds the top spot at Shaker Heights High, placed on administrative leave. You can just tell there's kind of something going on. In an emailed statement, the district's interim superintendent saying it was a personnel matter and no other details would be released. And it's hard because we like want to have a good last year, but all the students are confused about what's going on. Seniors Lily Lucarelli and Cameron Potter tell me the staff shuffles are unsettling and shifting their focus. We're there for our schoolwork, but like hearing about all this stuff and all the rumors kind of distracts us from our work. Like we were, I think it'd be better if we just had a big meeting to what was going on so we're not like just wondering and making up things. The district's former middle school principal will step up and serve as substitute principal here at the high school starting immediately. Updates on this one as they develop on our News 5 app. Reporting in Shaker Heights, Mike Brookbank, News 5.